what's up youtube you already know what it is it's your girl gracie and i am back with another video for you guys so if you're new to the channel make sure you comment like and subscribe and most importantly make sure y'all hit that post notification bell so that way you all could be notified every time your girl upload another video so i'm not gonna ramble too much i just had a long weekend you guys so that's the reason why i didn't post any reaction videos yesterday because your girl had to get her life together you know what i'm saying so today um i'm not gonna ramble too much i'm just gonna get into this video so today i will be doing another reaction video and i will be reacting to love by erica why did i wait to expose damien crier so if you guys have not watched part one part two part three this will be part four or whatever so you have not watched those videos make sure you go watch those videos so you'll know exactly what's going on but until then we just gonna get into this video like comment and subscribe if you are new i'm not gonna keep you guys too long um yeah i got some clothes in my back seat that i'm about to go get delivered to uh goodwill because i've been like doing some um some cleaning up and stuff like that getting rid of clothes and stuff that me cam and Deanna can't fit anymore so anyways guys um i'm not gonna keep y'all too too long but i just kind of want to address a couple things one on why i'm deciding to come out and expose damien now versus why i didn't do it months ago i'm gonna say this for the last time and the last time only i didn't have a need to expose damien when we were still in a relationship and two we had decided to just go our separate ways and keep our business off of the internet and a lot of stuff has been going on between that time and i have never even opened up my mouth at all up until recently when he took to his community post saying that you know i'm trying to look for attention and i'm trying to i guess make him look bad for not wanting to get done you haven't realized by now that he's the one that started this whole thing then you just a down hard damien crier fan and one thing that i'm like really disappointed in y'all always think that somebody is lying and even with the proof like so many people like show the receipts show the receipts uh receipts is not only just screenshots it could be pictures it could be recordings so i don't understand what y'all talking about when y'all say show the recordings or, or show the receipts like i'm so confused right now i would have never brought anything to the internet and as and as far as the statements about it's weird to record somebody no it's not weird y'all gotta understand i learned from the best damon Carr himself if he would have never been recording me i would have never been recording him he's the one who always said that he was going to expose me for no reason at all he used to provoke and stuff like that and also i got videos that i still haven't even released yet that's already recorded already edited and just waiting to get released but i told myself this last night as long as he stay over there with him and his little youtube girlfriend i don't have no reason at all to release that footage because i didn't even say nothing about him and her they name was not even mentioned on my post whatsoever so he shouldn't even got mad and then if and then if he felt like i was talking about him or throwing subliminals at him to be 51 years old he could have just looked at that and yo i'm gonna say this i feel like when she posted those videos i went down her comments and stuff like that everything was everybody was really saying stuff positive but i guess i ain't go far enough or deep enough because obviously people were saying that she was lying and why did she wait so long to expose him or whatever and she just said because she didn't have no reason to but honestly even though i don't think she's lying i don't think maybe maybe she shouldn't have went this far by exposing him just because of uh just because of a uh, community post that they both disagree with or whatever just because damien said what he said or whatever but she actually went you know far far like you know when a woman said don't play with her heart don't play with her heart or don't play with her mind or whatever or don't just play period because we can play 10 times harder 
And what Damien did not know is that she had a whole bunch of recordings and, you know, receipts or whatever. So maybe he should have just kept quiet just because she put a community post or whatever. He should have just bypassed that and just left it alone and fuck what the Internet got to say. Because I'm pretty sure people was commenting him saying, um, Erica, need a babysitter, you know, get your son and stuff like that. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? He probably let the uh, he probably let the audience or his subscribers get to him and the comments get to him to make him do a community post because of what she said even though she didn't say too much even though somebody said take him to his dad she said he said he was doing stuff like he busy basically i don't see nothing wrong with this but i don't know but i guess damien cryer clapped back kind of hard on her and she felt the need to you know expose expose him you know what i'm saying but i honestly don't know why she waited this long either you know he's in a full-blown happy relationship supposedly even though he stated that it was fake i don't know y'all y'all comment down below and let me know y'all thoughts on this whole entire situation and just you know went on about his business so if i'm childish at 28 what do you call somebody at 51 that stirred up mess and oh the reason why some of y'all are so confused about why or uh, uh, y'all so confused because it looks like i'm jealous of him and his girlfriend i didn't have any problem with his girlfriend whatsoever i went over her house me and cam went in the inside of her house when i had brung Dion to him and, and whatever and we even shook her hand and everything i told her when she said she's not jealous i don't think she's jealous but i think she had i think she was a little bit jealous when she went over there and seen this new girlfriend you know we all get like that sometimes or whatever but sorry y'all smacking but i honestly think that she was just a little bit jealous just a little bit her house was beautiful i'm not like that the only time i'm finna go there with somebody is if they go in there with me first i understand that you want to protect your man and stuff like that but you got to understand who you land next to because we will be revisiting this conversation you may be able to hold out a little bit longer than me and his ex but go listen to his ex live that she just did a day or so ago he was having her purposely do videos to try to piss me off and make me jealous. He was even meeting up with her in Indiana. So, that should tell you about your dude right there. So, for those of y'all that saying I'm messy and I sound bitter because he moved on and he's happy. Whatever, y'all can label it to be. Whatever it is that y'all want to label, I honestly don't care at this point. As long as he stay over there and la la land and leave me alone and stop trying to come for me because I did not come for him, then we cool. The minute I hear anything or see anything else that he's doing, I'm releasing everything. And then at that point, I'm not going to stop. I want to focus on what I said I was going to do. Um, Love Denver. I want to focus on vlogs, my kids and stuff like that. I got too much going on off the of camera to keep entertaining somebody that I really don't give a damn about. And that's just the honest truth. And, um, it is what it is. I hate that other people had to get brung in this. But at the end of the day, you can't, like, when it comes to a fight, it ain't no plan fair. Right. You, you know, who, who fights fair? Everybody fights dirty. You know what I'm saying? So... Y'all comment y'all also comment down below if y'all think that she took it a little bit too far just because of a community post. Put y'all comments in the comment section and let me know because my opinion maybe she is maybe she is a little jealous. Maybe she don't want them together. That's the reason why she's waiting for them to say something back so she can put all this, you know, recordings and receipts out there just to get them to break up. But at the same time, I feel like Latoya is a lot more stronger than that. I won't say strong and dumb because, you know, she she seemed like she got her head on straight. So what I'm saying is I'm pretty sure that um, LaToya is not going to let this, you know, tear them down or break them down regardless of re what receipt she has to prove or whatever. But at some time, you know what I'm saying, don't let no other woman come between y'all relationship if it's because she's in the past for a reason or whatever. But at the same time, her releasing all this um, footage and stuff like this to us, I don't know who is gonna make it look who I don't know who is gonna make it look bad at the end because right now it's making Erica look bad because it seems like everybody thinks she's jealous of his relationship that he in now because he's no longer with her so now she want to wait to expose him to get them to break up who knows what's going on we we honestly do not know what's going on 
And the reason why the Cryer family, which is Damien Cryer, the reason why he probably haven't clapped back because he watched all her videos and he's scared for the next thing that she might put out, if that makes sense. Because if you watch her other videos, that's what I'm saying. Go watch her other videos or go watch my reaction videos of her videos so you'll know what I'm talking about. Because, you know what I'm saying, he, he's not gonna he's not gonna clap back because every video she says she's gonna she's gonna come back harder, you know what I'm saying, with receipts. So I think he's gonna stay quiet because he don't want that out there knowing it's the truth. That's the reason why I think he's uh, being quiet right now. I don't think he's just being quiet because of the drama, blah, blah, blah. I just think he don't want her to throw those receipts out there. I sat there, I've been, I've been taking subliminals for months. I've been getting cussed out for months. I've been getting tortured for months. And because I haven't said anything, it just, again, make him come out smelling like a rose. And then the one time I opened up my mouth, y'all saying I should have done this sooner. When I was really trying to look at the fact that he's Dion's dad. But now I understand that you can't be nice to the enemy. You just can't. So, I hope now when he watches this that he learned to leave me alone and mind his business. And stay out of mind. Because that's the only reason why I spoke on him and his in the first place. But some of y'all are so blind and some of y'all just, I really do hope and pray that none of y'all have daughters because it kind of makes me feel like if your daughter would come to you and say this man beating on her or whatever, like y'all wouldn't even believe her. But then when somebody come up dead, now everybody at the funeral crying. Like, does that make any sense at all? Like, I feel like as women, we need to stick together because we all know how these men do. They lie all the time that's a man for you but for some reason everybody get amnesia as soon as stuff hit the internet it, oh you well of course they're gonna, they're gonna get amnesia because they hit the internet that's because y'all famous and so people is gonna take it the wrong one suppose y'all wasn't on the internet when nobody gives you know two fucks about what's going on in y'all relationship or whatever and people will actually understand what's going on but they're not trying to understand because guess what y'all uh youtube famous you know what i'm saying if that makes sense so they're going to keep antagonizing you guys or antagonizing you, trying to make it seem like you're this bad person and he's this good person. He's not lying about anything. That's because y'all YouTube famous. Now, had y'all not been on a YouTube famous or on this platform or, or on social media, period, wouldn't nobody know nothing about y'all. You know what I'm saying? So people won't be antagonizing you, antagonizing you for these certain reasons. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like if if it wasn't for the YouTube, I feel like, they would have just had it like a normal breakup relationship or whatever. And she still would have been going through what she's going through with him. You know what I'm saying? So exposing, I mean, it's just, it's for the internet for entertainment for me. Cause think about it, if y'all went on the internet, nobody knew nothing about you. How would you expose him? You know what I'm saying? What would you have just called up his girlfriend and said all these things? Or you would have just sent her recordings? Like y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Cause that's how I'm feeling about that. Being messy, you being bitter, but y'all couldn't see when he was being messy and bitter. Y'all couldn't see when he was throwing subliminals. It's like this man could like really do no wrong, and that, and that's so funny because at the end of the day. Right is still right, even if everybody is against it. And wrong is still wrong, even if everybody is for it. And as far as me going around, like, trapping people to have babies, where do they do that at? Y'all don't understand how active my 10-month-old is. And since it's... Some women do do that, though, to trap a nigga just because they don't want that person to lead them or whatever. They want to be in that person's life forever. So some women do do that to men try to have, you know, sex or whatever and get pregnant just to trap them. But just because y'all give you make a baby by this person, that's not going to make him stay. That's not going to make him claim your baby, regardless if it's his or not. You know what I'm saying? So that part is true, even though she don't uh, agree with that. But some men out here do really do that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not men, but some women actually do that, you know, to try to keep them. You know what I'm saying? Even though that don't work majority of the time. Daddy is not in his life. His dad is in his life probably 3% <laughs> of the time. So, we're not even going to count the 3%. Because some of y'all probably, oh, well, at least he do get him. No. He don't get his son like that. So, why would I purposely try to have a baby by somebody knowing that my child is 10 months? Does that make any sense? So, again, women, let's do better. Let's start sticking together. 
yes tell people when they are wrong but also you need to uplift people when they are right especially when you don't even know the whole story you know what i'm saying especially if you have somebody on video saying this and doing this and you still calling somebody a liar i don't think i'm the problem here but defending myself I don't think I'm the problem here. But again, I'm not even going to entertain it no more. Because like I said, I have bigger things I need to worry about. And this little rumor that's going around that um, I'm going around checking people for kids. I don't feel like that's even a rumor that I should clean up, to be honest with you. Because me and the people that I have kids by, they know the truth. They know the conversations that we have off of camera. And if they're not going to clean Boxes contain more than what's in them. They can help us glimpse the future or capture the joy of the moment. Discover what your DNA might say as you prepare to pass your genes along. In Vite, imagine knowing more. Then <laughs> I don't feel like I need to. So, and, and that's just what it is. But um, anyway, um, that's going to be the end of this video. So, this will be my last Damon Cryer video. Because honestly, I'm still not tired yet. And I still kind of have a little bit of petty left in me. But I feel like I'm pulling attention away from my kids. And they who matter the most right now. So, um, as long as he stay quiet over there, I'm good. The minute I see... And y'all already know Mr. Cry is going to stay quiet. He's not going to entertain us no more because... He, went, he did not know he was being secretly recorded. So, and I'm pretty sure he watched all her other three videos before she posted this one. So, he's not going to say anything back, back. If he do, I feel sorry for him because I do feel like Erica got something, you know, and know a lot more, got more recordings and receipts that we don't even know about. So, he's not going to say nothing back. He's going he's going to ignore this to the core. Y'all, y'all, y'all believe me. I, I promise y'all that's what he's going to do. He's going to ignore it because he don't want to be exposed again and more and more and more and more and more. So he's not going to clap back, you guys. So I hope this ain't the end of this, um, you know, this little pettiness drama or whatever, because like they said, we love seeing drama, you know, it, it entertain us or whatever. I just love reacting to it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie, but let's get into it. Let's see what else she got to say. Anything, any type of subliminal, I promise you. Everything else is going to come out. And I mean that. Because I'm not here to play with nobody. I don't bother nobody. I stay over here in my lane. And if y'all see me acting out on the internet. It's because somebody else is bothering me first. But for some, for some reason. People only see what I do to people. And that's a problem. Like people don't even take time. Then on top of that, they probably picking with her because she's only 28 and Damien Cryer, he's 51 years old. So they probably feel like she don't, she, she's, they probably feel like you're being bitter. You, you think you know it all. Why are you doing all this? You a jealous ass bitch, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, they, everybody just need to look at the bigger picture. Like she said, all men out there ain't good men. Like it's not all, everybody go through so t some type of bs in a relationship to do any research like that little rumor that's saying that's going around saying that i uploaded a video that said that the mucker family beat me i'll give anybody that can show me that video that i allegedly did that said that that man beat me i'll give you 500 dollars right now i will cash up it to you if i go find me the video right now where love by erica dropped and uh, I guess apparently it was a post and delete. Go find that video right now where it says that I alleged that this man beat me and I will give you $500. You're not going to get $500 because it doesn't exist. It takes one person to make up a rumor and a million people to believe it. And now all of a sudden it's true. Does that make any sense either? So again, I'm moving past this. No, I didn't get no season assist. And even if I did get a season assist, that's still not going to stop nothing because so many people got information that I have. So it was going to get out one way or the other. And that's just the honest truth. And thank you for the people behind the scenes that really do got my back. Um, you know what I'm saying? I really, really appreciate it more than you'll ever know. And this is a learning experience to stop talking to the op. You know. Don't talk to ops anymore. Keep your mouth closed. Keep your relationship private. Don't talk to nobody about anything else that you got going on. Because as soon as they get mad, they start telling your business. It is what it is. And I should have been talking to him anyway. Because again, I already know how he is. People don't see that it was him that started this food.
you guys that is so freaking true that she just said um you can you can tell somebody so much about your relationship but the moment y'all fall out and that's when they want this that's when they want to just spill the beans blah 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 and just tell and just tell it all like i yes people really do that and that's what i had to learn to myself I, I had to learn to keep my mouth closed when it comes to my relationship or keep my mouth closed for when it comes to anything that had to do with my household and things like that because the moment you fall out with somebody i bet you i guaranteed you you're gonna hear it again you're gonna hear it again from somebody else saying that this person said this now that y'all fell out that is so freaking true it's so true so like i said those y'all that's out there in relationships and stuff like that keep the outsiders out your relationship i don't give a damn how close y'all is best friends family this that and the third keep people out your relationship even though you want to vent to somebody if you feel like you want to vent to somebody just vent to god because he's the only one that's going to be able to help you guide you through your relationship and help it grow or whatever you know what i'm saying stop telling people your business especially if you're youtube famous Stop telling us the business because people are going to take it the wrong way and wrong with it and switch up your words, if that makes sense. So I don't know, you guys, but I do um, respect her for saying that. Um, so, yes, you guys, like I said, if you're in a relationship, keep everybody out your relationship. Everybody. And I had to learn that, y'all. Like now that I'm not talking as much, you know, about my relationship or talking about my life or what's going on in my life or what's going on in my household my life has been a lot better like and 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 it's crazy and it's not because i don't have you know friends or associates or like that because i do i'm just not about to sit here and just tell my business no more because mm -mm, because the moment you fall out i promise you guys mark my word on this you will hear it again from somebody else's mouth and you're gonna be like who you hear that from you, you're not even, you're not gonna even have to ask who you heard it from because guess what you already gonna know where it came from. They only see the person that reacts because guess what? He wasn't bold enough to even leave the community post up there. He took it down. So he did his dirty work and then he just sat back and watched it unfold. That's what he do all the time. So I don't feel bad not one second letting his son know that he's dirty and grimy. And his son probably already knows that, but just probably wasn't ever gonna say nothing. I don't know. But um Damien and Bianca, if you want that whole video, let me know. I'll email it to you or I'll send it to your DMs. I have no problem doing that because it was way more than that said. I actually cut some stuff out because it was really, really getting bad. So, if y'all want the rest of that video, let me know. I still got it and I'll gladly send it your way. Matter of fact, I may just go ahead and send it to y'all anyway just to be petty. Uh -huh. So anyways guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for all my new subscribers. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the positive content that I'm about to put out. I love you guys so much. And okay you guys, so since that was the end of her video or whatever, I need you guys to comment down below. Do you guys think she was bitter about the situation? Do you guys think she was jealous? Or do you guys think that she held back for situations that occur that will occur like this or whatever to make her seem like she's a bad person? Or do you guys think she just shouldn't let release no footage at all? Please put y'all put put your comments down below because I feel like, you know, she did what she did because she got fed up. You know, when a person is fed up, you just fed the fuck up. Like, you had it. You're done with it. You just want to expose them because that's the next thing that you can that you can do. So, you guys, this will be the end of this video. So, make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Comment down below some more other videos you want to see your girl react to because your girl's been coming with those reaction videos. So, until next time, I'm gone.